Let's look at the multi round influence maximization. Here's a graph. In this graph, there are three main components node, age, and influential probability. Influential probability indicates the probability of a node to active its neighbor. Let's first look at an example of a single round influence graph. Node A is chosen as a seed, and its status is changed from inactive to active. Next, node A tries to active its neighborhood, node B. If node B is active by node A, it will try to active its inactive neighborhoods, such as node C and D. In single round model, node A only has one chance to active node B. However, in our real life, node A could send the information to node B multiple times for activation, as same as multi-round model. In multi-round model, if node B is active by node A in any round, node B is considered as the active node. And each node will be only counted as the active node at most once in the final result. Now, let's look at the two different settings of the multi-round model. First, let's talk about non-adaptive setting. Non-adaptive setting requires to select the C node of each round at the beginning. After node selection, we will see the influence spread result of each round. Here's an example. Finally, we combine the results over all rounds and count the active node as the final result. Next, let's talk about adaptive setting. In adaptive setting, we choose the seed node of the first round as same as single round model. We wait for seeing the result of the first round and use it for the node selection of the second round. After we receive the result of the second round, we combine the result of the first two rounds and count all active nodes which will be used for the node selection of the third round. Finally, we will have the result on the adaptive setting. For checking more details, see our paper in this year's KDD conference. Please and welcome to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching.